I'm back. This video is about how to sell your web series. We're gonna shoot that the other day. First, a little housekeeping. I have been away for months. Uh, I've been doing a bunch of projects and a whole speaking tour, which you guys will be keyed into. I just got back from Berlin and Amsterdam. It was a blast. Uh, I will continue to show you guys some of that uh, soon. But I also reevaluated what I wanted to do here on YouTube and was this the right place for me? And the answer is a big yes. I have been getting so many emails from everybody saying, where have you been? So uh, the proof is in the pudding and, and I'm super stoked to be back. And uh, for 2020, the gloves are coming off. I am going to load you guys up with a ton of new content. But this video is about how to sell your web series. So I think we have to dive into uh, kind of four key areas that are going to get you where you wanna go because there's so many filmmakers now out there because of the advent of the DSLR camera. Everybody can shoot 4K, everybody can shoot beautiful stuff. The internet is filled with beautiful stuff nobody sees. Um, so we have to be game changers. We can't be people looking for checks. And this is one of the problems that I see when I sit on the buying side of things uh, at uh, my clients, which are studios. Um, I hear a lot of pitches. I think the first thing you have to understand and a question you need to ask yourself is what problem does my content solve for people? Because I'm going to give you an example here. People watch content online in particular, but even in movies and even on streaming services, they watch these things because, uh, subconsciously it solves a problem for them. Uh, let's take the largest viewed genre of content that is out there. And it isn't what you think it is. It is babies, puppies, and kittens. When you see those Facebook feeds, they are watched in droves. And the reason that is, is because it solves a problem for people. What problem does it solve? That content, because of the immense cuteness on all of it, soothes people. And what is it soothing them from? It soothes them from a dead end job, a crappy partner, um, you know, a life that might not fully be realized, but it takes them out of it for a minute. Uh, political documentaries, that allows you to harness your outrage, um, you know, and, and have, and listen to people saying what's in your head in maybe a better way, uh, than you might be able to have said it yourself. And so it allows you to, um, express your outrage without having to, you know, set cars on fire or anything. Uh, road pictures, you know, two guys or two women getting in a car and going on this awesome cross country adventure. People watch those because it solves a problem and the problem it solves is it it's the life they want for themselves it's they put themselves in that car so ask yourself what problem does my content solve next be able to explain what is it about your work that is hard to achieve because if you just walk into a studio with a good idea they want the good idea not you. And what they want to do is give it to the friend that they trust, give it to that trusted source, that trusted person who delivers it. If you can explain in very succinct way what it is about your work that's difficult to achieve, they can't take you away from it. They can't separate you from it. Now it's what I do is very hard to achieve and therefore you can't extract me from it and give it to your friend. And ultimately that's how you get paid premium dollars because you're an expert at that difficult to achieve thing. So next is build an audience. And that sounds so obvious. It's like, we'll just go, you know, build an audience. You know, how do I make a million dollars? We'll just go out and make a million bucks. Well, that is easier said than done. The easiest way to do that is to create a bunch of little things instead of one giant thing. And you go heads down for nine months and nobody knew you were making anything. 
make a ton of little things that look like the thing you want to be known for. Micro content contextualizes who you are as a filmmaker to an audience. And when you combine that with doing something that's difficult to achieve, solving a problem for an audience, they are literally emotionally bound to you now. And so everything you make, they want to be a part of. That's when people share, they just don't press like. That's when they comment, that's when they engage with you. And that is the new normal. So knowing the psychology of, of who you want as your audience and who you believe are the kind of people that would like your stuff, understanding their psychology and then, and then creating content that, that hits those little psychological and social triggers is the surest way to build an audience quickly. And let me give you an example. This isn't sort of theory. We built a 125,000 person audience in 60 days because we made a ton of little things rather than a bunch of big things. And that 125,000 audi person audience has grown uh, over the years, but it was the thing that allowed us to sell to Sony, that allowed us to sell to YouTube, that allowed us to sell to Go90, that allowed us to sell to all of these different platforms and studios. So without it, it's tough to trust you. You're another filmmaker coming in with a good idea. And there are tons of great ideas out there. So we have to give them something of value. And that brings me to my next point. Be sure you are giving distributors something of value. And that typically comes with audience or talent or having a great showrunner or something like that, right? And for those of you that are starting out, don't think that these things are um, so far away. They're not. It starts obviously with a great idea, but that's not the business they're in. They're in the business of selling advertising. So, so in order to draw advertising dollars to them, they have to sell something of value. As filmmakers and as producers and as creators, we are not rewarded by our time and effort. Nobody cares. We are rewarded by giving them something that is going to help them, right? They're, they need to get more value out of this than we do. And that sounds anathema, but when they get value out of it, you get paid. And so audience, talent, those kind of things are the thing you can bring to the table. Not everybody knows, you know, the next super hot actor. And I get that, but I'll tell you, I have made things with like the third loser from Top Chef. And we've sold that, right? I made stuff with somebody who had uh, newsworthiness, right? Wasn't even really a celebrity and was able to bring that person into it. So it doesn't have to be, you know, some A-list superstar or even a B-lister. It can be somebody who had impact that might be in the news right now. Those are the things of value that you can bring to the table. And again, I don't want you to think that you have to have some big superstar, but audience is the one thing you can do if you don't have access to talent that differentiates you from everybody else, from nine tenths of the people out there. So building a bunch of micro content, I'm gonna say is probably one of the most important things you can do in the things that I've just mentioned. Uh, but anyway, that, that is how I've gotten stuff done. And that is how my clients get stuff done. And this is how I've been able to take hundreds of filmmakers and bring them from stuck to unstuck, from uh, nobody knowing who they are to having a career that pays them premium fees. If this makes sense to you, subscribe to my channel. Also press the little bell so you get notified when new videos arrive because I am again going to take the gloves off. I'm going to be giving you the real dope this year in 2020 and I can't wait to see you in the next video.